Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today I want to do a book review on a power supply book. Now, uh, all right. So if you were to pick, if you had to pick the one power supply book that you could choose to learn power supply design, you could argue that this would be the one. There's a lot of good books out there, and I don't know what my favorite is. I've got some new favorites, I think, but um, let me just introduce a couple authors here, okay? There's this author, Keith Billings, and I'm not sure, but I think he's English, but he's done this edition, this edition, second edition. And, and by the way, you can see they've gotten thicker as they've gone on, right? Okay, and then this third edition. Now, there's another book that he's come out with since this one even. But let me explain this book, what's special about this book. Uh, this author, Abram, I don't know if it's Abraham or Abram Pressman, I actually met him. I went to a seminar that he did, uh, gosh, too many years ago. Uh, <laughs> and I actually, it was in California. I was living in North Carolina. I was teaching at a community college, industrial electronics at the time. Taught there three years when my, when my first wife was going to orthotic school, by the way. So that's why I was out in North Carolina. So I thought I'd teach. And Industrial Electronics. I actually started a program there. Anyway, uh, Piedmont Community College, North Carolina. Great school, really cool area, uh, real close to the border of Virginia. Anyway, I flew to California and I got the college to give me time off, and I think they gave me vacation time, or and they might have paid uh, for the airfare, and I paid for the conference or the seminar. It wasn't a conference, it was a seminar. And there's only, I think, four of us students who showed up, four or five, and Mr. Abram Pressman. And it was so cool that he still held that thing with only so many students. But anyway, and it was pretty expensive. Even back then, this was 25 years ago, and I think I spent $2,500 to go, go to that. Nah. There's a couple other seminars going on at the time. His seminar was either four or five days long, where the other ones were like two or three days. And so I thought I wanted to get more out of a seminar, and, and I felt like you needed more time to really get stuff. Well, the other thing was I had his book. He was one of the first guys writing the Switch Mode Power Supply book, Mr. Pressman. And uh, he was arguably... Uh, the had the best book out on power supplies. I mean, everybody in power supplies, my colleagues, there's not a lot of guys I knew back then doing power supplies, but they all had his book. And anyway, so he wrote a few books, and his last book, Keith Billings helped finish. Okay, so that's why he's an author, the two of them. And then Taylor Morey, uh, I think, uh, helped out with uh, chapter two, Plus, did some editing. And um, so, yeah, this was kind of a compilation between uh, three really uh, smart guys. This Pressman guy, arguably, like, you know, I mean, it's hard. If there's a Hall of Fame of Power Supply guys, he'd have to be in there. Keith Billings, I'm sure, is knocking out in that door. And, and Taylor Morey, I, I, I know him least, but he's got to be up there if he's on the title list with these two guys. Anyway, so that's who wrote this book, okay? And um, I'm going to show you some pages in this. I'm not sure how much I can show without copyright infringement, that kind of thing, but I'm going to show a few pages. I mean, you can see, if you go to, uh, you know, online, you can see some pages, you know, Amazon and that kind of thing. So I think it's okay if you show a few pages, but yeah, I'm going to show you a few pages of this thing. I'll show you the uh, and I'll show you the index, okay? Now, the theme with this book, what's kind of special about it, is it goes through 
a lot of the things you need to know on switching power supplies from beginning to end. EMI filter, magnetic design, she covers a lot of different converters, uh, feedback loop, control theory. It covers a lot. I mean, it's a big, thick book. But the way they've done it, it's not like a textbook. It's not like one of these guys who has a PhD in his name. <laughs> Even though I've reviewed one of those books and it is excellent, but a lot of those books with PhDs, they're more textbook oriented, lots of math. They just love to drill through the math and show you how you can solve everything mathematically, which, anyway, I won't go any further with that, but what I, I guess what I should say is that, you know, there's a practical aspect to the math that you need to solve a problem. And then there's uh, understanding the circuit and understanding what's going on that's more important than the math. And then you need to know enough math to solve the problem. But just being a math wizard and then looking at a circuit and trying to solve it doesn't tell you how to put the components in the right place or how to select components. Or And you can spend gads of time on a transformer design that honestly can be useless. <laughs> Anyway, uh, um, all right, guys. So what I want to do is just bring you over to this and show you the how practical it is and the math and everything. You know, there's just enough math in there. The that's all the math you need. I mean, it's just practical. It's not a math book. It's not a textbook. It's written in a way for engineers to get in and solve circuit design problems and and design circuits and so they sh give you a lot of examples and they do that so bring the camera over here and let's see what you think um, yeah sorry about the close-up different angle uh, let's try it anyway <laughs> all right guys so let's bring the camera over and let's do it okay guys uh, fond memory of Abram or Abraham Pressman so dedication to him uh, 2001, I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah, that's nice that they dedicated this book for him. Okay, and then they have about the authors, uh, Abram, and, or Pressman, and, and Keith Billings, and also Taylor Morey. And chapter one, part one, and that's the other thing, is the different parts uh, get a little more in depth into the circuit, but Part one, topologies, basic topologies, linear regulators, and switching regulators. And starting off with buck regulators. And then uh, boost regulators and uh, inverting regulators. Okay, then the push-pull and forward converter topologies. And flux and balance, they talk about a lot of important, you know, like I say, a lot of practical, important information. And going on to forward converter topology and uh, turn on ratio. So a lot of uh, slave output voltage, secondary load, free willing diode, relationship between primary current output power. So gap core, transformer design right here, magnetics, uh, more of it here, power transformer design. Okay, so then, then they go on to... Uh, uh, Double-ended four converters, interlead four converters, tr uh, more dis uh, transformer and output filter design, and then half and full bridge converter topologies, output filter calculations here, flyback converter topologies, talking about discontinuous, continuous voltage stresses, uh, design example with discontinuous mode flyback, universal input for flyback, interlead flybacks, Double-ended two transistor flybacks, and this is uh, talking about current mode and current fed topologies, avoiding avoidance of flux imbalance, current mode versus voltage mode, a detailed explanation of current mode advantages, and they go into all that and deficiencies and limitations, comparing the properties of voltage fed and current fed topologies. You can see the kind of topics they cover, how practical this thing is for a design engineer. Drawbacks in buck uh, voltage fed, full wave bridge. A buck current fed, 
full wave bridge topology. And I mean, look at all the topics covered. Down here, flyback current fed. Okay, and over here, flyback transformer design. Then we go into miscellaneous topologies, SCR resonant uh, topologies, SCR resonant bridge. Here's a chuke converter design. They were patented. Now they're, I think the patents ran out on those in Cephic, so now you see those everywhere. Housekeeping power supplies, oscillators. You know, now here it is, part two, we go into magnetics and circuit design. So that's what I mean by each part, you get a little deeper into the design. And here we go into the magnetics, the heart of the power supply designs. So still more stuff about magnetics all the way through here. See all these topics? All right, guys, uh, in the first chapter, he talks about uh, buck converters. And we got a buck converter here, some wave shapes, actual wave pictures from the scope and talks about how to design the inductor and output capacitor just to kind of show you some of the math you know and then see after pressman he's got some really good information from the other authors that they've kept and it's really cool so yeah really great information guys you can kind of see how it's laid out and chapter two starts off with push pull and forward converter topologies you can see I've used my highlighter. <laughs> I just wanted to jump over here, flux and balance, something that's really important, staircase saturation effects. So uh, you can see how practical and how in depth this book covers the converters. By the way, this is after several pages and we're still covering flux and balance, gapping the core, kind of showing how an ungapped versus a gapped core uh, might look. The history sees loop might be changed and just to show you an example of how I've gone through this book I've highlighted some areas some I've done green some I've done red <laughs> and guys I found my receipt I paid 78 bucks for this thing uh, I wish you could pay that today it's a little bit more expensive now but that was like 11 years ago now the notations in this book I can point out the little line above this means the max Lines below mean the minimum. I still use that notation. I That was something Pressman did, and I find it very useful. But, yeah, you can see how he covers the equations. He gives enough text to explain what the heck they are and how to use them. And just another example of the waveforms, how it's marked and how the equations are written out, it just makes it very useful. And I'm sure we've heard of skin effect. We talk about that, and you can see how much text he puts towards explaining something like that. It's an important principle. And for you guys that want to learn about swinging chokes, uh, very interesting stuff. Uh, he goes into that kind of detail as well. And this is a section on magnetic amplifiers, or mag amps, people refer to them as. Well, if you hear about them anyway. Uh, I've only designed one of these, honestly, in my career. And... It was pretty fun. I've always wanted to do another, just haven't had the need. But this is it right here. It's taking some feedback, putting some uh, current into this inductor. It's kind of soft saturating this guy. So yeah, it's been a while. I'd have to go back and learn how to do it again. And then a quick refresher on Boldy plots and low pass, high pass filters and such. The equations for that. I might have found an error. Um, but yeah, they, you know, good information here, right? And just a page on power factor correction, just kind of give you an idea. So just to go over some of the transformer stuff, talking about how to calculate, uh, the gap in the core, but also the copper screen. So just, you know, the tips, the kind of stuff you'd find in a practical design book. Tips, tips. Okay. Okay, guys. So first, yeah, I want to kind of apologize for. It's hard to put the camera on page and and get you know good pictures, and it's a lot easier when I have the digital version to screen it in. So I apologize for that, but uh, hope this was still useful. 
<laughs> so, what do you guys think? Uh, arguably, uh, the best book, if it was the only book you're going to get, I mean, it might be the one book, any one of these actually. They're all great books. I mean, I, I certainly, I've had this for 10, 12 years, I think, and I haven't gone through every single page. I might have breezed through them, but there's still lots of stuff that I can read through here. Same with all these books. Uh, they've just grown with thicknesses. He's added more stuff. But this book down here, great book. It, it might be, you know, especially if you find good use price on this one, um, that might be the first one to get. Because it might be a little bit easier to go through. And if you guys want me to show you these books, this one's kind of looking a little bit old. But anyway, if you guys want me to show you those uh, books, I'll do that in the video too. All right? Hey, thanks to my patrons. Two thumbs up to you guys always. And uh, hope you give a thumbs up for the video. That always helps YouTube analytics. Hope you like it. And I like to do these book reviews every so often. I got a bunch of books. And, and I want to eventually start going through chapters and showing... Well, I'll probably start doing that sooner than later. And showing you... Uh, you know, certain sections and how they, you know, back up the kind of stuff I'm teaching on my buck murders and stuff like that. So, all right, let me know what you guys think and what you'd like to see and hope you liked it and we'll see you next time.